she is. I've been married a long time. I've been married so long that my oldest daughter's my age. I didn't mean to be married this long. No, I just stuck around the last 10 years pretty much to piss him off. <laughs> Who thought till death do us part was gonna take this long? <laughs> People ask me all the time, what's the secret to a long and happy marriage? I can tell you the secret to a long one. <laughs> Children. <laughs> That's the reason my husband and I are together today is the kids. Neither of us wanted custody. <laughs> if any of you out there are planning on having children, take my advice and have natural childbirth. Save that anesthesia till that kid's a teenager and you're really <laughs> My son Scooter was the sweetest child on the planet. Ten years old, we're at dinner one night, and he goes, Mama, when I get married, I want to marry someone exactly like you. Then out of the corner of my eye, I saw my husband go. <laughs> one minute, Scooter's ten years old and the sweetest child. The next thing you know, like that, he's 15 and he's copped an attitude. <laughs> We'd been fighting all day and he came over to me and he goes, so, why'd you have me? <laughs> well, actually, we didn't know it'd be you. <laughs> for someone with a job. <laughs> well, he's all grown up now. He's in love and he wants to get married. Do you think she's anything like me? <laughs> the first time I met Hiawatha, she had a safety pin through her eye. <laughs> I didn't even know your eyebrow could fall off. <laughs> eight minutes. <laughs> Neither one of these kids are the sharpest cheese on the cracker. She thinks fiance and finance are spelled the same. <laughs> he thinks God's name is Howard. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven, Howard, be thy name. <laughs> It's my fault. When he was growing up, I said to him, don't get smart. <laughs> now he's grown and he's not. 